Hi, this is Greg, and in this quick video post I'll show you how to change the email address behind your Windows Live ID. For this example, I'm using a test account that I don't normally use, and I have it tied to uh, some random user at Zoho.com. So I'll go ahead and sign in as this user so that you can get a sense of what Windows Live looks like to this guy. So here we see his home page and you can see that he has made marginal use of his network and what's new feed. He's got one little album of photos. Uh, he's even got his very own Windows Live space. So we can see the content on the Windows Live space. You saw the content in his photo gallery. Now what I want to do is delete this email account to which this Windows Live ID is tied. And I want you to see that the Windows Live ID will be completely unaffected by this. So just to make things fair, I'm going to sign out first. I'm going to come on over to mail.zoho.com. This is not an account that I ever use so I am actually going to cancel my account. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to scroll down here to close account. I will key in my current password. and I've closed my Zoho account. Just to see that it's closed, I'll try logging on as some random user. And the account's inactive. Alright, let's see if that had any impact on the Windows Live ID that's associated with this account. So I'm going to go back to home.live.com you can see that Windows Live still remembers this user even though that email account doesn't exist anymore. I'm going to click sign in and I'm going to use the password that was previously associated with my Windows Live ID. No problem whatsoever. You can see that the user's home page still exists. Photos still exist and space still exists. However, if that email account is no longer active, it may make sense to change the email account associated with this Windows Live ID. So that's also quite easy to do. I'm going to come up here to my list of linked accounts, and you can see this one is still linked to some random user at Zoho.com, and I'm going to click View My Account. Okay, now we're looking at the account page for some random user at Zoho.com. And you'll notice right here on the main page, there's a link that says Change. I'll click Change. And I'll have to key in the password that's currently associated with the Live ID to verify my identity. And although I have the option of grabbing a shiny new Windows Live email address, I'm going to use another email address that I own. This happens to be a Yahoo account. I'll click on save and this live ID is now linked to my Yahoo account. Now there's an extra step that you'll have to perform which is verifying your email address. I'll come back to the main account page where it tells me that the email address has not been verified. I'm going to click verify my email address which spits out a automated message that I can now go grab at mail.yahoo.com. Looks like I've got something waiting for me in my inbox. Oh, there it is. I'm going to click on the new incoming message automated message from Microsoft saying that I need to confirm my account. I'll simply click the link
and my email address has been verified. So we've taken uh, a live ID that was associated with a Zoho.com email account, deleted the Zoho.com email account. We saw that the space, the photos, and the other assets tied to that live ID still function and are completely accessible even though the email address has been canceled. And then finally we looked at how to transfer uh, the uh, live ID to another email address. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.